wealth, yoga, wine. Welcome to my podcast. I'm Valerie Hale. How to be grateful. Start small. Gratitude leads to abundance. Now, abundance is not money in the bank. Abundance is improved health, improved relationships, whether that be with your family, your friends, your spouse. Abundance is life changing and gratitude, being grateful for what you already have and being grateful for what's coming your way is what impacts our health, our lifestyle, our friends, our relationships. It's life changing to become grateful, to show gratitude. Mary Morrissey has a seven day gratitude experiment for us. For the next seven days, and this is the day before Thanksgiving, so it's a great time to start this. The next seven days, she wants us to write five new gratitude statements each night. Or you can do it in the morning. You can do it any time during the day. It's important, however, that they they be new every day and you write them. What she says is just simple things to be grateful about is the way to start this grateful practice. I have been practicing gratitude, writing it down first thing in the morning for almost six years now. It started very, very simple, maybe just a few lines, and now I'm up to, oh, two pages. It is wonderful practice for you and for others in your life. Practicing gratitude really does open doors. I am grateful for two women whom I have met through my podcast. The company Kira Grace is opened by an amazing woman who creates beautiful yoga clothes and they're street worthy, as I have said before. However, what's interesting about this company, Kira Grace, is she gives back to the female community, those who are dedicated to expanding the yoga practice throughout the world. On her website are links to Words for the Soul, also her free classes, which are held every Saturday. Click on that link and you'll get lots of information. She's also doing a pre-holiday sale. Her clothes are stunning. I strongly suggest you click on that link. But it's also important to show our gratitude for women who have conquered a lot of trials and tribulations in their life and show gratitude by paying it forward. The other company I love, which is also women-owned and women-run, is Zaya, which is right here in Gulfport where I live. Her two wonderful women who help her, Marcy and Gail, are both artists in their own right. What Jill has done to expand her gratitude for the local artists, she supports over 45 artists in her shop. Her shop is not just clothing, which you can find on Instagram, but beautiful creations by the local artist. Again, these are businesses for which you want to show gratitude because they have gone through quite a few struggles and maintaining a successful business for other women for whom she employs. In Kundalini Yoga, the practice of prosperity begins with being grateful. I've included two links, two virtual sets, the Kriyas, and even if you don't feel like practicing Kundalini Yoga yet, It's nice to listen to their teachings because it expands your way of thinking about prosperity, that it's not just about money. As I've said, it's your health, it's your relationships, it's your lifestyle. Click on those to begin listening, reprogramming your mind into the prospect of gratitude. Lastly, mold wine. This is the season of nice, fun wines such as mold wine jam jar which is produced from south africa vineyards is a fun wine to make with mold wine you just simply add it to a crock pot or stove top you add a little bit of spice such as cinnamon oranges cloves what i also like is you do that when you do a nice warm mold wine 
but also do a white mulled wine. That's a little different. You're going to heat what I suggest is hard cider, which is always made from apples. Use Angry Orchard. Heat a couple of bottles in a saucepan. Add a little bit of orange, a little bit of clove, a little bit of cinnamon, and let that chill. And then you're going to add it to a punch of the rest of the chilled Angry Orchard's hard cider. Great way to start the holiday season. And as always, be responsible when you are imbibing. In conclusion, how to be grateful? Start small. Five statements every day. Mary likes for us to do it at night. Just start with very simple thoughts. If you're living in New York, be grateful you haven't had a blizzard yet. Kundalini yoga. Just listen. If you don't feel like starting the practice, just listen to the beautiful teachings. And go on the website of these two women who have beautiful creations. Pay it forward. These are women who have made it through the pandemic and are supporting local artists and women around the world. And lastly, of course, mulled wine, whether you're doing it from Angry Orchards or that fun little concoction from Jam Jar. Nice way to start the holiday season. And I am very grateful for my sponsors, very grateful for my subscribers. It's been almost a year since I have begun this podcast, and it's gone to heights unimaginable for a 65-year-old woman who has a big dream to go even further. I appreciate everyone, and I am grateful. Have a wonderful holiday season. Merci.